Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. We are going to be doing another budget video. This is the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner for 2017. I have added these little guys on the sides. This did not come with it. That's probably my most commonly asked question when I do these videos. My January budget is already all set up and ready to go. I will link my Money Talk playlist down below that has all the fun financial videos I've ever done down below. But today we are gonna be working on my savings plan. What I'm doing is in the back of this book there are a whole bunch of just plain lined pages which I absolutely love. There's some stickers in the back as well. But I am gonna be using this one, the pink one, because you know, why not? I'm gonna be using this one for my savings plan for 2017. Um, I'm gonna be using this as well. This is an older sticker sheet that I actually used in my January 2017 budget. I figured why waste it? And I'm gonna start putting in fun things because y'all know I like my fun things when I want to organize. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of put this at the very top or do I wanna just put it all the way to the, I think I'm gonna put it all the way to the top. I think that's a good plan. I'll just completely cover that little flag thing up because I want as many lines as possible. I actually did this last year, but I decided not to share any of my like financial goals with you guys. This year, if you guys have been watching my budget videos, you know that I'm being 100% transparent with like all the money coming in, all the money going out. Um, the only thing that I am not sharing is uh, YouTube income. Um, that's really it because I'm treating YouTube income as this totally separate animal, which is fine. So yeah, so I'm gonna use, these are from the back of one of my old Erin Condren life planners. They don't even make them like this anymore. Now they look like this, where they are like little flags. I don't really care about that, so um, I'm actually gonna use something a little bit different. So let's just write in what I need to write in and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I just wrote 2017 savings. Oh, all right. And just kind of eyeball it in the middle here. Probably gonna be a little bit off knowing me, but that's all right. I've got these cute little stickers from Coffee Break Planner. They're little piggies for, you know, feed the pig, because that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to save save some dollar bills. Oh, and speaking of saving some dollar bills, um, I have a coupon code for 20% off of Coffee Break Planner stickers if you're interested. It's in the links down below. And they've got lots of really cute little things, but I just love that. Isn't that cute? Like little piggy piggies? Okay, anyway. Um, I have to make my stuff cute. I mean, you guys know this if you've been watching me for a little while. I didn't center it right. I have to make my stuff cute or else I just like don't want to save money and I don't want to like plan um, if, you know, things aren't looking cute. So, all right. So I've got my little header going on. You know, okay, so last year, let me just talk for a minute. So last year, my brain is like so not functioning. Let's start that again. <laughs> so let me just chat for just a second. So last year, my savings goals looked a little bit different. The reason they looked a little bit different is because I got paid every other week. Now with my current employment, I get paid every single week. So um, with my living situation, currently um, my parents have allowed me to live in their summer home for enough time so I can save up enough for a house down payment and look for a house and move into a house. Um, they feel like it's kind of redundant for me to move out on my own, sign a year or two lease, and then not be able to save as much. They would rather me just be here. They're not here anyways right now. Um, there might be coming a time in the summer when they are here for a limited time, but my parents and I get along really well, so that's not an issue for you know them to be here and me to be here at the same time. I'm gonna be staying here for a little while. Um, what that's allowing me to do is save essentially like every other paycheck and putting that towards my savings. What I'm hoping to do is save a specific total by the end of the year if I haven't already purchased a home by the end of the year. Let me do some calculations really quickly. And um, I know to some of you this might seem like a whole lot of money and to others it's gonna seem like no money at all. Um, everyone has a different perspective and budgeting I feel like is really all about not necessarily how much you make, it's what you do with it. Um, you know, someone had commented not too long ago, this is my January budget by the way. So someone had commented not too long ago about 
oh, I've been really wanting to do, you know, budgeting videos, but I feel like I don't make enough and that like, people would judge me. And I said, you know what? I, I sent her a message back and I said, you know what? It's not about what you make. It's about how you allocate your funds. So, and sometimes, yes, there is like definitely like an income problem. You just, you make way too little for the kinds of commitments that you have. So yeah, but I mean, everyone has their own perspective on things. And I just like to give that kind of blanket statement before we get started into like actually me putting figures down because as the channel is growing and things like that too, I just don't want people to be hateful in the comments. I I don't really care if you're hateful towards me like whatever but I just don't want you to be rude to like other subscribers that might be posting things saying certain things about income or lack of income or a lot of income whatever everyone's entitled to their opinions so anyway I get approximately uh, after taxes and insurance and all of that I get approximately 650 a week so if I have that say twice a week that's gonna be about 1300, oh, I'm sorry, that's gonna be about 1300 uh, per month depending on, you know, what kind of month it is. So, um, so okay, so 52 weeks divided by two is 26 times 650 is 16,900. Does that make sense how I did that? I hope it does. So yeah, so the goal at the very top is going to be, you know, what I wanna forecast out for and then, you know, how much I wanna do every single paycheck. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to write in my 2017 goal and like just put it over to the side over here and then leave some spaces. Okay, so my yearly goal this year, and this is if I don't buy a house in 2017, I won't be able to keep this up if I buy a house in 2017. I'm starting to look right now, but for the property that I'm looking for, it's a little bit different and it's a little harder to find. It may take me till 2018. I would love to be um, in a home by the end of the year, but it's just gonna kind of depend on what properties are available in my area. I'm gonna put in 650. Um, okay, so what did I do? 52 weeks divided by two is 26. Okay, so there's exactly 26 lines, which gives me like every other pay period to put money in. So um, I'm just gonna put in, because I don't really wanna put the dates on it, um, but I'll, I'll kind of show you what I'm gonna do here. My goal is, 50 and then I'm just gonna put 650 and then kind of write a little column if that makes sense actually scratch that what I'm going to do is put in the goal and then the actual and then the total over here okay and let me show you how I'm gonna break that up all right so since we're kind of going with a pink theme I'm deciding to go with this washi which is a really really pretty kind of rosy color um let's see I need to square this up though um the only downside about this washi is that you can't cut it um, like a normal washi. You have to cut it with a scissors, which is kind of a bummer, but whatever. Get this going. And you guys don't have to like make this like the way I'm making it, um, but I absolutely love the way that something neat and organized looks and it just gives like so much more, I feel like purpose to what you're trying to achieve. Um, you know, like I said, everything for me, it has to be pretty for me to like want to use the system that I put in place. Um, and I know a lot of my planner people out there feel the same way, but you could easily just do this on like a yellow legal pad, like no problem. All right. So let's do this. Oh, I hope I have enough washi. That would be kind of horrible if I didn't have enough. Make another little guy here. I hope these are straight. I don't really know if they are, whatever. I think it looks, I think it looks pretty good considering I'm eyeballing everything. And then I guess if I don't have enough for the total, that's okay, but I'd, I'd like to have enough to do one more column. Oh yeah, I have enough, okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna butt it up with this yearly goal over here. There we go. Cause I wanna have enough space to hopefully be writing in a few more zeros than I anticipate. You know what I'm saying guys? Um, yeah. So I will not be putting in how much is currently in my savings or anything. I'm just gonna do like the total for the 2017 year. Hope that makes sense for you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna put um, 
650 right here under goal under every single column and then I'll start filling it out as I start getting paid. Okay, so now I have all of my 650s written in here. Obviously, you can put whatever you want for this column. If you say you get paid every other week and you wanna take a percentage of that paycheck or say you get paid once a month and you know there's one lump sum, you could always put like a date column before the goal or after the goal or whatever. That's how I did it last year. And actually, let me see if I can find mine from last year to kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. So here's how I set mine up for last year. I don't really wanna show you what my actuals were because it's kind of private, um, but anyway, that kind of shows you like what my bank balance is at, honestly. So anyways, um, but yeah, here is my 2016 savings plan. And I put in the date of my pay, every single paycheck. And then I put little like, I don't know, I just put little check mark stickers. These are from Christian Designs. All of these on this one is from Christian Designs. I'll link her page below too if you guys are interested. But my savings goal was $160 a paycheck. And then um, my total goal at the end of the year was $4,160, which I did meet and exceed. Um, so yeah, but I ended up doing my actual pay dates in here just to make it easier for me. Um, but now that I'm doing, I get paid every single week, I feel like I don't personally need that, but if you do, that's kind of a good way to do it. Um, and then you could just do lines and not do this like really thick washi that I used, but, um, but yeah, it's just a different way to do it. So that is it for my 2017 savings goals. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below and I will get back to you. If you like financial videos and want to see more from me, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Just lets me know that you want to see more as well as hit that subscribe button. I am here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new content at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. So if you don't want to miss anything, make sure to subscribe. All right, so that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little part of your day. It means so much to me that you guys watch my videos and like my content. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day no matter where you are, and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys.